Well, hi everyone, Corey Barker here with Kelby One, and in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the latest update to the Particle Shop plugin brought to you by the makers of Painter. Now, the Particle Shop plugin, if you have not heard of it, is a really cool brush plugin. It takes the very best part of Painter, which is the brush engine, and brings it into your Photoshop workflow um, as a plugin. So you can actually go into your documents and do with all these really cool brush effects. And um, they just released a, uh, the third major update to this, and it's added a new feature that makes it even easier to use this plugin inside Photoshop. Now, in previous versions, what you needed to do was when you wanted to apply the effect to a, an image, like let's say I've got this image here, and you can see it's comprised of a lot of different layers and a whole bunch of different things going on here. If I wanted to generate a particle effect using Particle Shop, then I would need to go ahead and create a new blank layer and then give the layer a fill color, something like this. And then I would have to go into the filter menu and then we'll go down here to Painter and choose Particle Shop. Now what it would do is go ahead and launch the Particle Shop plugin and then I'm able to go ahead and paint and do whatever with it, whatever brush I have selected. Now, a couple of problems with this is that you're only seeing what is on that particular layer. In this case, it's just a flat color fill, uh, which means we couldn't do it to a transparent layer. Of course, and if you painted some effects on it, let's just go ahead and grab something. Uh, very simple here. Let's do like a little bit of smoke effect there. There we go. Um, and one of the things they did in the second update of Particle Shop is when you would hit save here, it's going to ask you, do you want to merge the brush strokes uh, with the source content or save only the brush strokes as you return to Photoshop? Um, of course, I'm going to go ahead and bring it back as just the brush stroke. So go ahead and check that on and click OK. Now what it's going to do is return that effect to Photoshop without the gray background fill. This was a huge step on being able to apply the effect to its own layer and then being able to, um, not having to do a workaround to extract it from that layer after you got back. It actually does it for you. But now they've taken another leap forward uh, with this latest update. Now what you can do is when you install it, it's actually a, a new panel that you install in Photoshop. You go to the Painter site and you can actually download it if you already have Particle Shop. Um, you can actually just go ahead and run the update and then we'll go ahead and add that panel in here. But once you do that, you will go into the window menu here in Photoshop and go to extensions. And then you'll notice there it is right there, Particle Shop. Now when you open up the Particle Shop panel, you're going to see this little tiny window here. And now you have three options in here. You can duplicate the active layer. You can choose to duplicate visible layers below and merge with the active layer. And then use... Um, or just use the active layer that you're selected on right here. Now, in this particular image, I, as I said, I've got a whole bunch of layers and a bunch of different things going on here. I want to see this image as it is in the Particle Shop window so, I, so I, I can see where I'm painting my effect on the image. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new blank layer. And I'm going to go ahead and select the second item here, which is duplicate visible layers below and merged with the active layer. So if I have my new blank layer at the very top of my layer stack and that layer is selected, and we'll just go ahead and click on Launch Particle Shop. It's going to go through a lot of actions, in a sense, to merge, to create a merged version of that layer. And then now it's in my Particle Shop window right here. So now I'm free to go ahead and just experiment with these images, not to worry about um, any kind of destructing of the original image because it's going to return it as a separate layer, just like it did a moment ago. So for instance, I'm going to jump in here and grab um, I'm going to go in here. I've got a whole bunch of the different brush sets in here. And if you do have this plugin, definitely check out the various um, brush sets they have available that you can add on after you've purchased the plugin. And there's a lot of really interesting ones here. In fact, I'm going to use this one um, It's called Smoke and Steam. And I'm going to jump down here and you can see that the various uh, brushes I have available in here. Let's go ahead and grab Smoke. I want to add kind of a smoke element to um, this image here. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, Got my brush selected and let's just paint a little bit so I can see the brushes working and the arrangement and the size, everything looks good, but we want to change the color. Now, one of the things I like about this plugin, um, especially because it's a brush plugin, and when I'm using the brush in Photoshop, I like to be able to sample colors just by holding down my option key and optioning whatever color or sampling whatever color is in the image. So I can do that here. If I hold down the option key, I can sample this kind of light blue color on this side of the image here. And as I start painting, you can see it picks up that color. Let's get a little bit lighter color there. There we go. And you can see it just kind of adds that effect on there. It looks really, really cool. And if I go over here on this side where the, the yellow is, I can sample that color and just kind of distribute that. And Oftentimes, you're probably not going to get exactly what you want the very first stroke you do. So um, 
If you paint and you don't like it, just hit Command-Z and then just go back and repaint it again until you get an arrangement that you like. And that looks pretty good there. So I'm just going to go and say that uh, I like that. It looks pretty good. Uh, I could go in here and add a couple other things. Like maybe I could go in and grab this little laser tool and perhaps add a little bit of a flare right here. And maybe some right there on these lights here. You can have a lot of fun with various types of... <clears throat> flares and other uh, brush effects in here but let's just go ahead and and then something i always talk about don't overdo it as cool as this plugin is it's easy to get carried away and do a lot of really um uh, seemingly cool stuff but then you just over <clears throat> you overdo it <clears throat> excuse me you tend to overdo it and uh it looks a little bit muddied so let's just go ahead and assume that that i like that and that looks pretty good and i'm gonna go ahead and click save and again, we're going to get uh, this message here where it says, um, I want to save only the brush strokes. We'll click OK. And what it does is it eliminates that merged layer and just gives you the brush strokes that you've applied. And the beauty is, of course, that they are on the transparent layer. So you can add layer styling or do whatever you want to them and uh, modify this layer independently. Um, of the rest of the image there. So that is a very convenient feature now, having this window and then having the option of doing these um, different types of uh, elements here. Now I want to show you one more um, thing you can do uh, with uh, Particle Shop and it's probably something you didn't quite think of because um, a lot of the demos I've done, I've done it where it's kind of like very cinematic look like this and it's adding these really cool um, brush effects like that. But sometimes you just need a simple design element when you're working. So I'm going to create a new document here. I don't want so we'll just go ahead and create a new document here, and let's go ahead and make this, uh, let's make it a little bit smaller than 1500 by 1000 pixels, that looks pretty good. All right, so what I want to do is create this kind of cool um, design element that's in a vertical column um, in this image. So I'm going to go and create a new blank layer, and let's drag this out a little bit. And I'm going to draw a rectangular column here right in on this side of the image here, and I'm going to go and give that a base fill as well. Let's go ahead and do white. Uh, with the fill color there. So you can see that there's just a white vertical rectangle on a white background. Now I'm going to keep the selection active and then we're going to go to our particle shop panel here. And again, I'm going to go ahead and, well actually this time I'm going to use use active layer um, and go ahead and click on launch particle shop and that's going to go ahead and bring me in there. Now because of the selection, it's going to isolate it to just this area of the uh, image, which is exactly what I want. Now, you, again, You've got a, very, a whole bunch of different brush packs that are available that you can get after um, after you buy the original plugin. You can go in there and add on these various brush packs. If you um, go and buy some of these um, additional brush packs, I encourage you to go in here and just play around with each one of the brushes and really see what they do. Try different colors, try different brush sizes and arrangements here with the settings here and just see what kind of different effects you might get. Because you might look at some of these brushes and go, well, you know, I'm never going to need, you know, radiation or something like that. But you just might, it might give you um, a certain effect that you're looking for that you wouldn't have thought of. In fact, that's how I discovered this particular effect here that I'm about to show you. And it's part of the flame uh, brush pack here. Um, and it's one called Torch right here. And I found out that this gives me a really interesting random kind of wireframe pattern. So I'm going to select Torch, and I'm just going to go over here into the color uh, wheel, and let's go ahead and choose. And if you're familiar with Painter, this this uh, color wheel looks familiar to you. Um, so we get a, just a simple blue color here. I'm going to uncheck Glow on that. And notice I've got the size. Let's actually make the size pretty big here. And just try a distribution there. That looks uh, that's pretty good. Oh, let's actually bring it down quite a bit. There we go. All right, so I'm going to keep the size down a little bit. Small number there. There we go. And then just kind of randomly just brush it around. Notice the the distribution you get there. So I'm just going to kind of get this kind of wavy wireframe pattern here. And that's all you got to do is just kind of whisp, whisp it around until you get an arrangement you like. And then again, we'll hit uh, save. And then again, we'll do save only brush strokes. Click OK. And now it replaces that white vertical column on that layer with this new design element. And simply using particle brush in another interesting way to create a rather interesting design background. If you wanted to create a background element for a layout, you can certainly do that um, using these brushes. And you can certainly, once you have this element, um, try different arrangements this way. So let's say I wanted to make the background that blue color, like that. And then we'll make the graphic element, just lock the transparency and fill it with white, maybe change the blend mode to overlay. 
Let's get a darker blue in there. There we go. And you can scale it. You can just play around with it and just do different things, but you have a lot of different options. It's really a creative use of Particle Shop in a way that it wasn't necessarily intended, but it does give you some rather interesting results in there. And it's made all the more easier by using this panel and being able to merge all your images or your layers together so you can actually see what you're painting on and then you can return it to Photoshop um, on an empty transparent layer. It just makes it that much easier. So again, if you've got um, Particle Shop, go ahead and run the latest update if you haven't already. And uh, remember that panel will be located under the window menu in extensions and just go ahead and launch uh, Particle Shop right there. Now you can of course find out more about the brushes I mentioned and the plugin itself. You can go to painterartist.com slash kelby1 and here you can see uh, more information about the plugin itself and if you scroll down you can actually get more information about the individual brush packs that are available right here that you can see right there and I definitely encourage you to look at those and just uh, take a look and play around with them once you've got them and you'll see that this is a really powerful plugin can give you some really really interesting effects so be sure to check that out and we'll see you guys next time